Hi and welcome to a video tutorial on making your WordPress footer dynamic. Um, and so I've created a um, video tutorial on how to sort of convert a static HTML page into a WordPress theme uh, and that really uses um, a lot of sort of static copying and pasting of HTML code. Um, and so what I wanted to do is to kind of slowly make some additional videos that kind of help you um, start to make your themes more dynamic. And so the first thing I thought I'd do is um, a video on how to make your footer dynamic. Um, and by dynamic, I mean controlling the content in your footer using uh, widgets in WordPress. Okay, so that's the goal. Uh, what we'll take a look at is here's a client site that I'm working on right now. And this is the footer information that sort of uh, in four columns. Um, and that information right now is hard-coded, so let me show you the code for that. That's hard-coded in HTML uh, in our footer.php file. Uh, and so what you'll see here is I've just hard-coded um, the content in there. And so if the client ever wanted to change the content, so for example, if their phone number changed or their email address changed, that would have to be done in the footer.php file. And typically, most clients aren't comfortable working in a PHP file. So what we want to do is we want to convert this static footer into a dynamic footer using the widget areas. Okay, And it's actually a really simple process, uh, and it's really just a two-step process. Well, really a three-step process if you are dealing with uh, styling the footer, if you haven't styled the footer in CSS yet. Uh, so the first step is to add the widget areas into the foot, foot, footer widget areas into your theme. So right now my theme only has two widget areas. It's got widget area one and widget area two. Uh, and those are typically what you'll see on a theme sidebar for certain pages or posts. So what we need to do is we need to add widget areas for the footers. Okay, And that's a pretty simple add. Um, you're going to have to work in your functions.php uh, file, so that's your theme functions file. This is going to look different depending on what theme you're using. Uh, I'm using HTML5 blank by Todd Motto. Really great blank uh, WordPress theme. Um, and so this is kind of what the default functions.php file looks like. Um, but yours may look a little bit different, but essentially that's where you need to go to add so what we're doing is we're basically declaring we need footer, we need widgets for our footer. Um, so that, uh, let me pull up the code, um, the registration code. And so this is, uh, I'm not going to walk through too much of what's happening here, um, but I'll kind of give you uh, a, a rundown of what's happening here. Uh, so just at the most basic area, we're registering a sidebar. Um, so we're registering a widget uh, in the widget area. And so this is just, um, these are just variables associated with a particular widget. Um, and so if we, look back, if we look back at our website and look at the footer, um, we basically need to declare four widget areas. So your footer might have three or two or one. Mine's got four. So that's why this code um, will show you how to register four footer areas. Um, so uh, you can sort of adopt this as you please. I will post um, a copy to this file um, in the bottom of the YouTube video so you can just kind of copy and paste. But just to kind of walk you through what's happening, essentially we're registering a sidebar, uh, we're naming it, we're giving it a unique ID. Um, this is how we will um, both style the, uh, the the area and also how we'll call up the area in PHP, um, and then some other uh, some other important variables associated with that particular uh, widget. Um, but that is what's happening. It's basically this code repeated four times. So I have four footer areas. So I've repeated this four times. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this code, which again I will post for you in the bottom of the video, and I'm going to add it to my functions.php file. Um, so I'm going to add it 
Uh, HTML5 blank gives you these great sort of section breaks. This is where you can add your functions. Um, and I'm going to add all four. I'm going to register four new sidebar areas or four new widget areas. Uh, and I'm going to call them footer one, footer two, footer three, and footer four. Okay. So that's essentially step one. And I'm providing you with the code. Um, you can sort of learn what all of it's doing uh, as you please or you, you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, but let's just make sure that worked. So what's great now is we've got our footer areas and we've got footer area one, two, three, four. So step one is declaring uh, or registering those footer areas into as widgets. Um, and so we've done that. And so now we've got the opportunity to populate these dynamically with all of our different available widgets. So now that we have the, <coughs> the four footer areas registered as widgets, now we have to uh, modify the PHP code in our footer file, right? So again, just as a reminder, this is all hard coded in HTML now. We want to make this dynamic. Um, so we're going to go to our footer.php. And again, we're seeing, yep, this for sure is all HTML, it's not dynamic in any way. I'm just going to delete this um, and I'm just going to keep uh, my opening footer tag and my closing footer tag because we're going to modify everything that goes in between that now. Um, so again, I will post the registration code uh, at the bottom of the video. Now here is the footer code. Um, so let me just quickly walk through this before I paste it in. Um, so basically, we're calling up a div with our ID, um, footer1. Um, and then there's a little bit of PHP code that basically asks if there is content in footer1, if it's an active sidebar, uh, then display the dynamic sidebar footer1. Okay, And we just repeat that little bit of code, PHP code for each of the four footer areas. Uh, and so... I'm going to post that again in the video, uh, in the link, a link of it in the video below, below the video, I'm sorry. And what you can do then is you can just adjust this accordingly. So again, if you've got three footer areas instead of four, you just delete the fourth one. Or if you've got five instead of four, you can add, um, add on to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste that entire bit of code into our footer. Okay. Um, now, Previously, I had I have styles all set up. Um, I've got styles all set up using um, Twitter Bootstrap in my theme. So instead of uh, instead of using these unique IDs for each of the footer areas, I'm just going to use uh, my built-in styles for Twitter Bootstrap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a row. inside of my footer. So the entire footer is one row and we've got four columns. Uh, so instead of this div ID footer one, footer two, footer three, footer four, I'm just going to use uh, my built-in bootstrap grid uh, and then just do column SM3. And so this basically says uh, for each of these uh, four widget areas, I just want them to be a uh, separate column, side by side, that spans, so they're all the same, they each span three out of the 12. So the way that the Twitter bootstrap grid works is it's um, 12 columns, so each of these columns will span three, three times four is 12, okay? Um, again, so if you're not uh, familiar with Twitter bootstrap or you're not using Twitter bootstrap in your theme, that's fine. Um, you can call these, you can wrap these uh, this little bit of PHP code into any, really any um, ID or class and then style it as you please. But I've already got them styled, um, so that's how I'm going to proceed. Uh, so I'm going to update my file here, and that's it. So I've pretty much set up, um, I've pretty much got it all set up. So what I can do is I can refresh now, and you'll see there's nothing in the footer because there's actually nothing in our footer areas. Okay, so what I'm going to do real quickly is just kind of show you how this works. Uh, in footer area one, I'm just going to add 
a menu because that's what I had. I'm going to call it sitemap. And I've got a footer menu set up already in my custom menus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh now and you'll see that sitemap is automatically dynamically showing up now because I've got that called in footer area one. Um, and so this is all dynamically generated obviously, um, but it's also styled in the way that I want it styled um, because I've just wrapped them in the, the divs that I already had styled. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing for footer area two. Um, I believe footy, footer area two was um, some links to social media. So I'm just going to add this widget called lightweight social icons. Um, and I'm going to call this social media. I'm not going to fill out all of the, I'm not going to fill out all of the, uh, pertinent details. I just kind of want to show you how it works. And there it is, social media is showing up. Uh, footer area three, I believe, was contact information. So uh, we can just put use the text widget and call this contact information. And we can now add our phone number, our email, and our address. I'm not going to actually fill this in again. I'll fill this in later. Uh, but just to kind of show you that it works, we can see contact information, phone number, email address is showing up. Um, and then finally, footer area four. Um, I believe was a link to some of the client's other uh, pages. So I'll probably just put, again, um, arbitrary uh, text here and we'll just go um, links to other websites. I'll probably call that something better than that but for now that's what it is. And then I'll refresh and there it is. Right and so now I've got my four um, widget areas that are being dynamically generated. And, and since I've got it all um, I've got it all set up on the bootstrap grid. It's all dynamic as well, uh, or it's responsive as well. Um, but that is maybe another video. Okay, so just to quickly recap, um, really it's three steps to um, making your footer dynamic in your theme. So as you're theming through WordPress, um, step one is to register these new sidebar areas. Okay, register the widget areas, call them whatever you'd like to call them. Um, but again, I'll post this code in the bottom uh, below the video. So that's step one. Again, we're going to register our sidebar areas. That goes in functions.php. Um, and then we're going to add uh, a little bit of PHP code for each of the sidebar areas in our footer.php file. So that's step two. And then step three is just styling. CSS styling. So however you want it to look, um, you can use divs and wrap this PHP into whatever divs you so choose, and you can style them however you'd like. Um, and then, of course, adding the content to the different footer areas. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I mean, it takes, you know, no more than 10-15 minutes. Um, pop in a little bit of code, and you're good to go. Uh, comment with any questions, um, and uh, let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make for you. Thanks.